What's up YouTube family? It's Andrea here at VW Family Farm. It's late in the day, but it's actually not much wind at all. It's very still here right now. And so I've been thinking about cleaning up this front garden. The back garden, there's not much to clean up because the tarps just kept all grass out of there. It was so wonderful. And we're actually gonna be trying some ground cover from Grower Solution next year. And we've got a coupon code for you guys. I'm gonna drop that down below. That's who sells that row cover over there that I have loved. And we're actually gonna try some of their ground cover that Kevin and Sarah's been using. And it's just really good stuff. I've seen it in person at their house. I'm really excited to try that. But I've been thinking about this front garden because it needs some work. This is where Lane and I hung these panels on these T-posts up off the ground a foot or so. And it was a ton of work getting those things up there. When you start lugging heavy panels and then trying to wire them up in the air, we worked a lot to get them up there. So I'm not real antsy to take them down and have to put them back up, but you can see they're growed up. So I think I'm gonna try to burn it and leave the panels there because I can get the garden ready with those there because they're up off the ground. So I'm gonna give this a go. The wind is still, but I don't know about y'all. Every time we light a fire and there's no wind, the wind picks up, so we'll see how this goes. I'm right by Ben's greenhouse. So he's already said, please don't catch my greenhouse on fire. So we'll try not to, but I thought may as well have the camera in case it happens. Okay, I just told Ben, this is super duper fun. I think I like lighting this fire a little too much. I am literally right next to the road. So I'm just gonna try to make sure it doesn't come this way. You can see it's burning really good up there, but thankfully it's in the garden. So it's surrounded by mud. So that's a good thing. And it's working beautifully. Can't believe how well it's cleaning this up. So it's doing really good. I think I'm gonna stomp out this end down here and then it can just burn back to itself. And the other end's already out. It's cleaned up, but it's burned out, so. It's looking good. All right, while we're at it, I'm burning some more. <laughs> I think I'm addicted to the burning stuff. So I got the garden burnt last night. It did really good, actually. I wanna show y'all what it looks like because a lot of farmers around here will burn their hay fields. Um, they burn like underbrush and stuff to promote new growth. Burning really does feed the soil. So I wanna show you what it looked like in case your garden has some growed up spots that could benefit from burning. Maybe you don't have another good way to get that grass or whatever out of there, which was my case. I had been thinking, what am I gonna do to clean up under those panels? That's gonna take me forever. And Ben said, well, if it's a calm day, you can burn it. And I thought, oh, that's genius. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you what it looks like in the daylight. So it is, it cleaned it up really well. There's some few little vines still on there, but nothing much. So now I'm gonna clean up right back here where all the tomatoes were. Uh, they were on ground cover, they were on tarps, but they still got growed up. Grass will creep up from the sides of the tarp and just the vines themselves need to be cleaned up. 
So I'm gonna take down those cages, lay them off to the side, and I'm not gonna till anything in because I don't like to till in the winter. Uh, there's no point really, and I just kinda wanna leave it lay and leave it resting during the winter. Uh, the back garden is actually covered almost completely in tarps, except for where we harvested the sweet potatoes, and that's bare ground. But I'm actually gonna leave it alone until, uh, we might do some amending back there, um, and we may, I may just leave that alone until spring, because a lot of people cover their garden with tarps in the winter. Well, ours is already covered, so why would I go back there today and uncover it? That would just be kind of pointless. So I'm gonna clean up the rest up here. I'm not gonna create unnecessary work, and then I'm gonna call this job complete. All right, so I've got some of the cages off and they came off with big clods of grass. So I'm gonna see if I can burn the grass off those cages uh, because they're just right out in the middle of dirt. They're not going anywhere. So that's less grass I gotta pull. And I'm all about working smarter, not harder. She couldn't get it lit with her little baby lighter, so she had to call me. This will. This, that's one to burn. This isn't one to burn. All right, now that the cages are off, I'm gonna go down through there and clean a little bit, pulling off what is on this tarp. I couldn't help but laugh when I said that to myself. I don't think it'll take long. That's like my signature saying. The kids, or when I say, I don't think it'll take long, they'll say, oh, that means it's gonna take forever. But I really seriously mean it. I don't think this is gonna take long. This is going quick, isn't it, Lane? Oh yeah. Sorry, our second pile we cleaned up and we're burning. Got the tarp all cleaned up, looking mighty fine. Thank you, Lane, for your help. We just got a little bit more to go. today is I'm going to machete these zinnias down. This patch was beautiful all year and um, hopefully these will kind of reseed themselves. Just kind of scatter the seed right back here in place and it'll make it look a whole lot better. So I'm going to get busy doing that. Thanks for hanging out with me in the garden getting it picked up. I put it off long enough now and it was time to do it. I will see y'all later. God bless. Tell you what, that will give you a workout for sure. Lane had mercy on me. He's an experienced machete -er. <laughs> He used to just do this for fun all day long, chopping. Goodness, I wish we had that How to Cut a Tree video. Yeah, I know. Long before the days of YouTube, Lane and Emily made videos when they were like four years old, five years old. They were hilarious, but they deleted them. I want to whoop them. They did a documentary on how to cut down the perfect tree. It was a tiny little, tiny baby tree, but Emily narrated while Lane acted it out. It was quite hilarious. You want to know the funny thing about it? 
That was when we were pretending that we were making a YouTube video. And now we actually them. have YouTube. That's what I told them.